What's up my dudes? Today, the Jeffree Star concealer and powder came out and we're gonna try it out. Right babe? My boyfriend's right there while I'm filming and it makes me kind of anxious. So, I might act a little weird in this video because I'm not alone. Babe, you have to react to me. That's, that's what Jen Marvel's husband does. Oh, I'm sorry. Boyfriend. Or oh, just well, ignore me. I just me. woke up, guys. Alright, give me, give me a second. Or just ignore me. Either you're yeah. in it or you're out. So here is the bag. And I got a few things. I got the sponges from his collaboration with Morphe. And I got the powder in the color beige. I'm not sure if beige is my color, but we're gonna find out. So, yeah. And the last thing we got is the Magic Star Liquid Concealer. Look at that packaging, it's so pretty. Oh yeah, let's do this. I'm in my robe, cause you know, we're getting ready together. You should be in your robe too, if you're getting ready. Or if you're just watching this for fun, it's fine. You can wear normal people clothes. Oh, by the way, I got this in the shade C18. Pretty sure I wanted C17 when I was in the store swatching them, but I think I picked up the wrong one. Also, my hair's blue. <laughs> I forgot. Um, this is called hair paint wax. It's actually, I think it's more for curly hair people because um, it dries very hard. So if you have straight hair, it's gonna look very weird. Like maybe you haven't washed your hair in a while. Um, but this is what it looks like. I found them on Instagram. Their Instagram is at hair paint wax. I'll put it right here. So if you guys want to check it out, I have blue and I have pink, but they also have gold and it makes your hair look really blonde. Okay, so I'm starting off with my Murad Oil Control Mattifier SPF. I'm just going to take this much. Hey. Ugh. Okay, so I put on the Murad oil control stuff and I just wet the sponges I've never tried Morphe sponges and these are so freaking soft I love them they kind of smell like like pencils first thing I'm gonna do is try the concealer on my eyelids because I usually use concealer as an eyeshadow base I don't really use eyeshadow primer so that's what we gonna do how do you take I got it out. This is the most beautiful concealer packaging or just makeup packaging in general that I've ever seen. It looks like a wand. And he's always like, welcome back to my channel. So wands are kind of this thing. So I think that was really cute and on brand for him. What's up? Nothing. Why are you looking at me? Can you do it one more time? Welcome back to my channel? No, the same enthusiasm. <laughs> You need help, dude. Okay. Okay, so this is what the applicator looks like. It's like a little teardrop. I think this color is a little dark, but it's okay. Yeah, it's fine. I'm just gonna get this much. And I'm gonna start off with that because I watched his video and he said it was very pigmented. Um, so you don't really have to keep dipping into the capsule thing just one dip is good and then i'm going to take this tiny little sponge and blend that out i honestly thought these sponges were always like a waste of money because they're so tiny but this is really nice for putting concealer in your eyelids so and it's so soft i'm sold and now i'm going to get the powder and I'm just gonna set where we put the concealer. This is what the powder looks like. A 
Okay, so I really like the color. I think it's gonna look good on my under eyes as well. I'm just gonna do some eyeshadow and then I'll be back once I'm done with my eyes so we can move on to the face. Because I have oily skin, so I really wanna test out how the concealer works and how the powder works because I wanna bake with it. Also, the smell really does smell like cotton candy. I'm obsessed with it. Um, I usually use Airspun, which kind of smells like an old lady in a powder. But this one smells really nice. So if it can keep me matte, it's a winner. Okay, duties, my eyes are done. Um, so now I'm gonna get the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation in the shade Cashew. And I'm gonna apply that with the new sponge that I got today, which is so big by the way. I was not expecting it to be so big and I'm just so excited. It's so soft, it's amazing. I've been applying this with a brush recently, so I'm really not used to applying it with a sponge at all. It's kind of weird. I also like that it has like the flat area because you can go around your wing without messing it up or without getting anxious that you're going to mess it up. Also, for some reason, when I try to put foundation around my nose, um, I can never reach it with the huge sponge. I usually have to get a brush. So I'm gonna try using the little sponge to get in there and make sure the product is actually sticking to those areas. Cause that's the first area that the foundation just falls off for me is my nose. This would also be really nice for cream highlight because it's hard to just do it with your finger and I think you would apply like right exactly where you want it if you're using this little sponge now it's concealer time again I'm in the shade C18 so if you're around my skin color I'm sure this will work for you actually let's see how it looks because on my eyelids it seemed like it would be a nice concealer shade but you never know I also don't like my concealer to be extremely light so I tried to go a little bit darker just so it'll match my skin tone I don't like it to be super brightening because sometimes I just wear concealer and then I just think it's like easier if it's just on a day that you don't want to be wearing a lot of makeup I just put a little bit of concealer on my pimples and my discoloration so I want to be able to, to do that with this concealer I think I like that color. You could tell the darkness in this eye compared to this eye. I think I'm gonna put a little bit more. Trying to be dramatic today, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so I just wiped off my bake and now I'm just gonna do my brows. Okay, so I don't have a clip of me wiping away my bake because I started to feel like my face was tightening a bit. Um, so I wanted to wipe it off before I started getting like, I don't know, like little dry patches or something. I was afraid um, that it was gonna be too light also when I wiped it off because the color is beige. So I was like, I don't know if I'm a beige. There's another, there's like three more shades I think that are darker or four more. Um, but I didn't, I thought that the other ones were too dark. So I didn't go with those, I went with beige. And I think it looks pretty good. Um, we're gonna see after I put like my bronzer and everything, I do feel like I look a little bit pale, but I'm not really used to that very light under eye. We'll see what happens because we're gonna do our bronzer now um, and then I'm gonna carve it out with the sponge and the powder just taking butter bronzer in the shade sunset
Now I'm just gonna take this side, get a bunch of powder on it. Now we're just gonna wait a little bit. I'm just gonna finish my lower lash line and then I'll be back. Okay, you guys, so I finished the rest of my face. Okay, let's talk about some things. I think the concealer is really good, really full coverage in my opinion. $22 is the price point. I don't know, I think that's a pretty good price point because he takes a lot of time in um, choosing the packaging and all that thing, like all those things add up and I feel like he still kept it at a reasonable price. I do not think you're gonna run out of this quickly because I didn't have to dip back in. I just went straight on my face and it was good. The applicator really like soaks in the product, so you'll only need a little bit. When baking with this product, I think you shouldn't leave it on for too long. I just figured like, oh, I have really oily skin. Maybe I should leave it on longer than most people do, which is what I do with the airspun powder. I can leave that on for a really long time, nothing happens. Um, but I think in combination with the oil control mattifier, maybe leaving it on that long is what really made my face get like tight. Don't leave this on for a super long time if you're baking, I think, because you will get that tightening feeling, which I personally don't mind because I know that here in Miami, as soon as I go outside, my makeup can be ruined um because of all the humidity so i like when i feel my face tightening because i'm like yes my makeup's gonna stay on like for 20 hours no issues which i do feel like is the case here so if you guys check the description box once you're done watching the video i'm just gonna update it and i'm gonna tell you guys how i felt throughout the day if i got oily even though i already baked with this powder but it does feel very soft i feel like i can't really see my pores so yeah that's freaking awesome i think the concealer and the powder are the same price, $22 for each of them. So honestly, don't think that's that bad for a powder, especially with the quality of the packaging, quality of um, the powder, it seems very finely milled. Um, especially when I was swatching it in the store, it just like felt so nice on my hand. And my face feels very smooth, like I said. So I think if you guys are interested, you guys should really pick this up and see for yourself. It has a very, very wide shade range, so I think it's really important um, because in the drugstore, sometimes my shade is the darkest shade that they have. And even in high-end brands, they don't really have a lot of shades for people, my skin tone and darker, so inclusivity is really important when it comes to anything, but skin makeup, it just, you feel kind of left out when you can't find your shade. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please let me know what other videos y'all want to see um, next week. And I'll see you guys very, 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 very soon.